game marks. Hey everyone, welcome to Mike Plays. I'm taking out here, um, I got Dust and Elysian Tail. And I'm just going to come out right out and say it. Um, that... I wanted to like this game. Uh, this is an XNA game. This is a winner of Dream Build Play. Uh, long story to get it um, to market. Um, but right here. Okay, so this is the turn off. She never shuts up. Alright, the little bat thing every time I jump tells me, hey, I could fall down. Um, every time. Every time. Every time. And I think the reason I'm, I'm, I'm playing this on, on Game Marks is, you know, I talk a lot about... Um, I get back into killing this thing. I, I talk a lot about tutorial and how, how that should be done. And I, I guess... This game seems to be the counter example, the, the one of, of what not to do, because I think this game could have been really, um, something. Uh, you know, I'm not really sure what I'm, I'm doing or a moment. Hold on, let me, um, there we go. Um, this game has a lot going on with it. And if, if you're going to have a game that has a lot going on here, um, you've got to really do the, the, um, tutorials well and I don't feel they are and and I've had this game and I've played about four hours into it and then it's just kind of sat like I am in that zone where I have problems giving up on games that I'm I'm not enjoying um all right so let's see here I got quest um you've been told that an item beneath mud pot can you do in your quest so is that what I'm doing? I'm going down. Over the fence, old Gappy though, she fixes lost sheep. Uh just a, a ton of quests. There's a lot going on with the game. There's a material crafting system. Um there's shops, there's towns. Uh really it's a grand scope for an indie. Um, I think that shouldn't be surprising when I said, um, it has a, a long tail of, uh, development as far as what's going on. I guess, yeah, I didn't find anything to... Alright. So since we're heading down, let's just head down. Um. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, look, hey, down here. Oh, she already said it, I think. Here we go, wait. There's treasure. There's treasure. Um. You can jump down. Oh, yes. This is the village. Uh. You can talk to the people. Hello, young man. I hope you're well. The animation is wonderful. The voice acting is great. Um. The character design, as far as, like, their background and story, seems really well flushed out. Um... It's... It's the non-stop... Interruption of the tutorial. There, you know, you can talk to a person, you can talk to a person. Um... That... Like, over the hours that I've been playing it, has really, like, worn down. Um, okay, so apparently I can do something with him. I'm a stick? No! What are you doing standing around here? I'm okay, so I gotta find his stick. Um, oh, I guess I haven't unlocked crawling yet, so I can't go there. Um, let's go on down. You've got a very Metroidvania um, style of gameplay here. Um, oh yeah, that's what I got. I got that's what I got last time I played. I got a thing that'll open red doors. Um, yeah, not not too deep on that one. Okay, so I'm in the caves. Um, let's go ahead and save. Um, 
Thank you for reminding me it's a save point. And... Oops. I didn't mean to step on the spikes, but I did. And then there's spikes there, and there's spikes there. Um... Okay. This is getting interesting. Alright, um... But the tutorial and the flow of it has been really hard for me to get into. Um, and it's marring everything else. The, the, the characters, um, monologue quite a bit. Um, there's some okay jokes. Oh yeah, I forgot about those things. Um, there's some interesting jokes that are written, but, um, they get lost in just waiting for, um, It to be over. You know? Like, I just want the dialogue to end. Oh, see, now I'm dual screening here. I, I want to dual screen. Alright, those are all spikies. Uh, there's an explosion fruit there, so, um, well, great. Collected a sheep. Um, I think, what am I saying? What am, what am I trying to say? I think what I'm trying to say here is, um, the game needs a bit of focus, you know? Um, like, the first time that I came here, like, we literally stopped and we had a tutorial moment that said, um, hey, those are ropes. You can climb them, but not yet. And, you know, the hand-holding... Oh, that looked like background to me. Um, wow, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it here. Let's get out of here, and, uh... Let's see... We'll, let, let's put in my food... That. And eat that. Okay. Um... That some focus on the gameplay and figuring out what you wanted instead of getting really grand with it and throwing in all the games that you've ever played and you've ever liked um, would have benefited and a pass at the dialogue to kind of streamline the gameplay a little bit so that it wasn't so heavy uh, on the exposition and the narrative um, which I think is really a symptom of the same problem, you know, which is not uh, assuming on the part of the, the player, you know, an ability to just figure it out, okay? And am I am I stuck now because I haven't found or unlocked? Okay, we can still go down. Um. Come on. Come on. The the combat mechanics uh, are... They seem like they should be pretty involved, but in practice, I haven't really noticed... Like, I am not the uh, com action combat uh, player by any stretch. Um, you know, like the Devils May Cries and the Bayonettas and all of that. Uh, oh, God. I'm on. You feel a little floaty on controls, and I'm not doing good. Um, just little messages like that, like shops restocked, you know? It, I don't know, maybe I'm nitpicking on that one. Uh, I, I might I might cop to a nitpick on that one, but uh, it just seems very distraction-oriented. New ability required. Okay. Hold in that. Alright, so now that I've got that, I can finally start going in all of these. Um, that's actually a good moment. Like, I didn't have to have dialogue with the, the little wombat girl here, uh, on, like, hey, you can crouch and, and slide. Um, although I don't put it past her to recommend I crouch and slide at every crouch and slideable opportunity. Was there one over here? No, that's just spiky. Um, I was hoping to have some more combat, uh, in this segment. Oop. No, 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 no. 
There we go. Uh, it definitely has like a little um, quest mechanic or, or hunt and, and find the item. Um, I don't know where we're going anymore. Okay, well, we're back at the beginning, so fine, whatever. Um, let's save again. I guess, well, again, I, sorry, I can't tell the background spikes from the foreground spikes. Wow, that's just, come on, guys. An annoying little, uh, item there. Is that a cave I can walk in? No, apparently not. All right. Hey, can I drop down here? Oh, I can, thank you. Yeah, I mean, so it's like somebody played the Zelda with Navi in it and then set out to recreate that. Um, Alright, can we get anything cool under here? What do we got over here? Oh, we got his hitting stick. Alright, so we're going to complete a quest, I guess. Do that. But, I mean, you know, it's an area where it's like, I go into a town and I don't want to talk to anyone because they're going to talk forever and they're going to give me a bunch of quests to fill up and I will have to talk to them more when I complete the quest. And, yeah, why? so why am I doing the video on it, right? You know, like, hey, I don't want to just, you know, beat up on a game. Uh, it's because I think there's a good game here that it's just in the way of itself, you know? Um, if it would get out of the way of itself and allow the player to sort of experience the game on their own, um, I think it'd be a really awesome game here. Uh, especially because it's playing with a lot of mature concepts as well. Um, with the idea of a race being wiped out and genocide for survival and such. Um, all right, where is the old man? He was over here somewhere. There we go. <gasps> oh, mistake! You found her. Now I can get back at that good-for-nothing trolk that done busted up my leg. Except Whoa, that. Oh, hang on, Blop. You'd better not pick any fights in your uh, condition. Except that uh, all the people who live in the mud pots. Our southerners. Um, I'll beat up some there's that. For you. Bring me their devilish little fingers. Four of them. No, 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 forty. No, four hundred. So he's giving me a collect quest justice. here. How about I gather four trolk fingers just for you? Sound good? Ah, now that's my boy. So, and the thing is, is that, um. sort of happens like every quest uh, I forget this guy um, uh, that doesn't there's like a mechanic to him as far as like timing the blocks and everything uh, but you can just walk up and, you know, mash. Why not? So there's a combo multiplier that gets going here in combat. Um, it's just another system I really haven't figured out. I guess you do more damage the higher your combo gets. Um, but I haven't noticed that being a big of an impact on uh, fighting. You know, like any boss that I've fought has, has been sort of figure out their tactic and then use that against them. Uh, you do get the ability um, let's knock these guys out here. Uh, you do get this sword's ability here so I can um, 
do that and build them up a bit. You get her ability, which is, that one's kind of weak, but you can also uh, have her shoot some fire. Um, is that the only two I got? I thought I had a third one. Okay. So she has a meter as well that can help you. And then you can combine the attacks as well. Um, get it powered up here. There. There's some more powerful combat methods. Um, here we go. Uh, you can dash? Well, I guess I can't. There we go. Get myself drug up to here. Um, I'll only collect that. So, oh, the things I'm collecting, um, then I can sell to a shop, or there's a blacksmith character in one of the towns, um, that you can have craft into weapons and items. Um, so far it's been a case of by the time I can craft or get it, uh, I've found better. Um, that little boom motion, I think, uh, there, I just picked up another blueprint that'll let me craft something else at the blacksmith. Um, but definitely, that, that's been it. So, you know, it, it looks nice. Uh, the animation is wonderful. Uh, for the most part, I mean, the, the mashing of the buttons for the combat is kind of fluid. No real complaints there. Um... It's just that the, the few detractors, um, too many systems to, to deal with at one time, um, get you to the point where you don't care about any of them, and, you know, excessive exposition in, in dialogue in town that's really bad in the towns, um, and then her, who's been quite quiet, you know, normally at some point in the course, uh, of the game, she's interrupting you of like, hey, you got a blueprint and this next area looks scary and you should be careful and let's not go there. Um, it gets old. Uh, you know, there's a stick to it and, and that stick uh, gets a little old. Um, I don't know how I'm doing on my... Wait. Come on. See where we're going here. Oh, there's a key over there. Okay. So you do need, um... The, the chests do require keys. Uh... The chests will just give you some random loot. But you do have to get... Oh, hey, I got another sheep. That's something, right? Come on. Come on, mud. Alright. There we go. So this is what I was looking to find to kind of end on. So yeah, so you do have a shop here. You to serve. Um, that you can buy items from, uh, upgrades, um, things like that. I think this is highlighted because it's currently equipped. Um, weapons, armor rings, things like that. And then there's also a mechanic. Uh, you can buy keys if you ran out. Um, there's also a mechanic here. Let me go to the cell mode. Switch to cell mode. There we go. Uh, let's see if I found anything. Here we go. So this doesn't have a check mark on it, so... Uh, if I sell it to him, he'll catalog it and be able to sell it back to me. Um, later. So, that could be handy if you're working on blueprints. Um... Let's see, you don't need that ring. Um, these are augments. I'm not using any of those augments, so get rid of them. Uh, yeah, yeah, so there's a weapon upgrade system. This action is most appreciated. Watch your back, my friend. Okay, will do. Um, if I go... Yeah, this is my augment. Um, basically you can choose... Um, an, an, an attack up or something like that. Got your items that you're wearing. Um, 
again, like I said, very detail involved. All right. So how am I supposed to... Oh, oh, well, I can slide back, I guess. But I don't know if I can jump and slide. Oh, great, there's a key. Got it. Again, a lot of cool maneuvers. Um, but... I, I'm just button mashing, you know, I'm not really having to think, uh, you know, maybe if I upgraded a difficulty level, I guess, um, that would matter more. And it's not that I'm looking for a challenge, I'm not complaining for that, it's just kind of, if I have to learn all these moves, or I unlock these different moves at these different points, there should be guys that the move works on to take down, I guess is what I'm getting at. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I fell down. So, yep, this is uh, Dust of the Legion Tale. Uh, you can pick it up on uh, Xbox or on... Um... Hmm. I don't think I can get up there. I think this is the down only. Um, pick it up on Xbox or on Steam. Um, you know, you may uh, enjoy it better than I did. Just because um, I, it was not for me doesn't mean uh, it's not for everyone. Um, and, you know, as a game designer, you know, might be an interesting one to play and kind of think about, like, okay, how would I have done that scene differently if, um, you agree that, you know, hey, it's kind of a detraction from the game itself, uh, with that. Alright, so now that I'm back up here, wait, let's see. Get down. Oh, I hit it again. I think that's where I blew it last time, isn't it? There we go. Okay. Chops are restocked. A lot of blueprints this playthrough. Um, there's a chest over there. But I don't know if I'm finding any of them. Let's see. It does do this in a few places where it gets really dark. Um... bring that over to somewhere interesting. Can you blow that up? No. That fruit will sometimes unlock doors that you can't uh, unlock yourself. Oh, that's great. Well, obviously I didn't need it here. Can I bring them through? Oh, I can. Okay. But the, I don't know, I think the camera thing's kind of annoying uh, when it dials in like that. Let's see. Whoa, hey. Oh, okay, that's not an enemy, it's just red mushrooms, gotcha. I don't know if there's something I'm supposed to be doing with the red mushrooms. Doesn't look like it, okay. Are we getting somewhere? What are we getting? Okay. Those don't really take out the spike. Oh. Yeah, see now I'm supposed to try to platform when I can't see anything. Um... You know, interesting from, I guess, a designer standpoint, but unless I'm supposed to... Dude, why can't you give me a tutorial here? Like, if there's some kind of, like... Aww. No, she's out of energy. Well, that did me in. So, um, yep, this has been uh, Dust and the Legion Tale. Thank you guys for watching.